in order to get your game back on Windows, now that you got a Windows 8 PC and didn't come with the original game, uh, you will need two things. First, you will need a Windows 7 PC where you can get the game from, and a USB or external external hard drive to transfer the game from Win from the Windows 7 PC to your new Windows 8 PC. We are right now using a Windows 7 PC, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get to transfer the game over to Windows 8. Now, go ahead and plug in your USB or external drive to the Windows 7 PC. And once you do, go ahead and open up the file explorer. You can go ahead and click on the bottom left hand corner on the little icon that has the folder picture on it. And uh, you will see this window come up. From here, go ahead and click on computer on the list here on the left. Double click local disk, C drive. Go ahead and open up program files. And look for Microsoft games and open that up. Now here we have a repository. Here's where all your the Microsoft games are at. Solitaire, Spider Solitaire, Purple Place. Under multiplayer there's back backgammon, checkers, spades for multiplayer games. Minesweeper, Mac Jong, Hearts, Free Cell, and Chess. So all of them are right here. What you're gonna have to do is right click the screen, your desktop, go to new, create a folder. Now you can also do this inside your flash drive or external drive you can create a folder name this folder Microsoft games alright open up the folder put that folder next to the other one go ahead select the game that you want if you only like solitaire and that's all you want select solitaire but if you want them all go ahead and highlight them all right click click copy and then paste them over to the new folder you created. Now put this folder on your external drive or your flash drive and from there you just transfer it over to your Windows 8 machine and that's how easy it is. Once you have it on your Windows 8 machine you can go ahead and make a shortcut for example if you, if you like Solitaire a lot. Open up Solitaire, right click the application, make sure it says application and uh, create shortcut right click it and then click create shortcut put it on the desktop so we're pretending right now um, this is a shortcut just pretend this is your, the desktop on your Windows 8 machine alright so it'll be on your desktop and when you click on it it should open up solitaire and there we go it opened up solitaire and you can just go ahead and start playing right off the bat and this is a lot better. This original Solitaire is a lot better than the one that's in that App Store of Windows 8 because that takes up the whole screen, ends up looking something like this without the X on top or any of the toolbar or the taskbar here at the bottom. So, this Solitaire, I imagine, is the one you want to use, and that's how you transfer it over from Windows 7 to Windows 8. Unfortunately, Windows 8 did not come with the original Microsoft games but you can transfer them over using the technique that I just showed showed you right now okay thanks for watching hopefully this has helped you guys out there we're trying to figure this out because I did make a video about this but it was for the uh, store app solitaire which takes up the whole screen and a lot of you guys didn't like it so I made this video for you guys that want to prefer to keep the original solitaire and all the other games of course like chess and uh, Checkers and Hearts, Free Cell, Mac Jong, all those other games you can get also using the technique I showed you right now. Okay, if you have any questions or some parts of the of the process that you don't get, go ahead and comment on the comment section of the video, and I'll help you out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my channel and subscribe. I have many many videos coming out every week, so check those out, and I'll see you soon.